Welcome to DIYEasyCrafts.com How to make a fish shaped piggy bank. These piggy banks are perfect for any nautical themed home. They're very easy to make. I start out with uh, three pieces of wood. I used uh, 5 8 uh, pine, which is a little thicker than the standard wood you get. I cut a fish shape, uh, the same fish shape, out of all three pieces. Uh, the outside pieces will have the bottom fins. Uh, the inside piece will have the top fin. You can cut off the bottom fin on that middle piece. The middle piece will also get hollowed out, or the, or the center of it will get cut out uh, to form the cavity for the coins, or the belly of the, of the fish bank, or piggy bank, whatever you want to call it. In addition to that, I'm going to mark each of the um, side pieces um, and I'm going to router out the inside of that just to give a little bit more room to that uh, inside cavity. Um, probably take off three eighths of an inch. I'm just going to mark each piece and then with a router plunge in and just start to router away that inside material. In addition to that, I'm going to cut a small piece out of the very bottom of the center hollowed out piece. And that uh, piece that I'm removing um, is hidden right underneath uh, or next to the fins, the bottom fin. That's going to be the access panel where the kid can get out her, his or her coins. I'm going to glue all three of these pieces together, um, clamp them together and let them completely dry. And once they're dry, then you can use a, a disc grinder. I'm using an 80 grit uh, flap disc sanding wheel uh, to start forming uh, that wood into the shape of a fish. The only thing you have to be really careful about is you don't want to grind too deep um, where you're going to hit that uh, inside cavity, especially since you uh, routed out both of those side pieces. So you just have to take note as to um, you know how far you, you route it out or how deep you route it out and, um, and how much you can sand away. Uh, but basically just rounding out uh, the fish's head, the fins, uh, the tail. Uh, we kind of sand pretty pretty well flat and then I use the side uh, of the grinding wheel to create uh, little grooves on the um, back end of the tail fin. And then I'm going to also uh, create some texture to the fins just by adding some grooves or some slots. This whole carving is, is very easy and very quick to do, especially if you're using a, a disc uh, sander like I am. I'm also going to do the same process on the two bottom fins. And you can see now how the two outside pieces have the bottom fins, the centerpiece did not, but the centerpiece had the top fins. Now I'm going to use a, a Dremel grinder with a little drum sanding wheel on it just to rough out some of those, um, edge, those edges to make the sanding a little bit easier. I'm also going to use a um, cutoff wheel on the Dremel grinder just to add some additional uh, texture lines to the fins. And then I'm going to sand the entire body of the fish smooth. And you can do this with a, uh, with a sander or by hand. I'm going to use a 3 8 drill to drill out uh, the two eye holes. Be very careful not to drill too deep or into that interior cavity. I'm going to go back to the cutting wheel on the Dremel grinder uh, just to grind or, or cut the fish's mouth. Smiley mouth. We're almost done. I'm going to use the same uh, cutoff wheel and plunge it uh, into one side or the top of the fish and that'll be the coin slot. And then I'm going to add stain, let that dry. Um, I was going to just paint the two eyes, but I decided because uh, I actually drilled through into the center cavity a little bit, um, I mixed a drop of black paint in with some two-part epoxy glue, and I added a drop into each of those drill cavities, which creates a nice shiny black eye. Um, and it also had the effect of filling in that little bit uh, of a gap from the bottom of the drill that had actually pierced that interior cavity. So the uh, epoxy glue basically fixed my mistake. Now this is the, the piece that we had removed um, in between the fins and I'm just going to add a small piece of wood uh, inside 
the belly of the fish. Um, I just glued it into place with some epoxy glue. You can see it in position right there on the left. And then that plug is just going to get screwed uh, to that piece of wood. Very, very simple uh, closure. After adding just a couple of coats of polyurethane, we have the finished product. A very easy to make, do-it-yourself nautical fish piggy bank. Now please check us out on the web at DIYEasyCrafts.com. Be sure to check out our other how-to videos. And I, I ask if you like this video to please subscribe to this YouTube channel.